welcome back and thanks for joining us. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the requested John Deere 4640. This was a part of Deere's Iron Horse series, so we're also going to be covering some of the other 40 series tractors and seeing how this one stacks up against them. These 40 series tractors have continued over the years to be farmer favorites since their release in 1978. The 4640 would be accompanied by the 4040, the 4240, 4440, and 4840. These would be the replacements for the well received 30 series and also be John Deere's main line of row crop tractors as we closed out the 1970s and worked our way into the early 80s. The 4640s would be powered by the 466 cubic inch turbocharged six cylinder diesel. This engine would put out roughly 155 horsepower at the PTO and 132 at the drawbar. These engines would be equipped with an intercooler and for those who don't know what an intercooler does it helps cool down the air coming from the turbo before going into the engine. This tractor was designed to be a workhorse in the field with its main objective of pulling bigger implements and that's why the fuel economy isn't the greatest. And this is why a fair amount of these you see today have the added on extra fuel tank in front. The 4640 being one of the larger John Deere row crop tractors available at the time, it's no surprise that this thing would weigh in at 13,419 pounds, but was able to be weighted down to nearly 16,000. The base weight of the 4640 was 40 pounds heavier than the 4630 that had come to replace. John Deere would credit this weight increase to more support and a more heavy duty tractor. This added beefiness over the 30 series tractors, John Deere would use the slogan, more horses, more iron. Being one of the larger tractors in the Deere lineup at the time, let's see how this compares to the other 40 series machines. The smallest tractor in the 40 series line would be the 4040, and this would come in at roughly 100 horsepower. You'd see Deere increase the horsepower as we went up in tractor size, roughly 20 horse between each of these tractors. That is, until we hit the 4640, which it was roughly a 30 horse increase. The 4240 and 4440 would be John Deere's popular sellers out of the lineup, but that isn't to say there wasn't a need for the bigger tractors such as the 4640 and 4840. The 4640 would come with a couple different options that were made available to farmers, one being hydraulic front wheel assist, which isn't quite as desirable as John Deere's newer tractors where they'd use mechanical front wheel assist. This hydraulic front wheel assist option would be roughly a six to $7,000 upgrade off the base two wheel drive package. For hydraulics, this tractor would come stock with two selective control valves, but you'd have an option to add on a third. The hydraulic pump that would power these valves would flow roughly 23 gallons per minute. For our power takeoff, we'd only get the option for the inch and three quarter, 1000 RPM PTO. On the transmission side of this thing, we'd get the 16 speed power quad or the eight speed power shift. Both of these transmissions would give you a top speed of roughly 19 and a half miles per hour. The 40 series line of tractors would run up until 1982. Now let's take a quick look at these machines and what the cost was in 82. Based upon the MSRP of these tractors, we don't see a big jump in price from the 4040 to the 4440, but we do see an $8,000 jump going up to the 4640 coming in at 46,000 and the 4840 which came in at 57,000. In the five years that the 4640 occupied the assembly line in Waterloo, Iowa, John Deere would turn out 24,729. Across the board, John Deere would beef up the rear end and transmissions compared to what they had previously in the 30 series line. They would also make small adjustments in the cab, making the seat more comfortable to ride in, as well as focus on making these engines better at starting. This would be accomplished by upgrading the injection pump. One specific upgrade from the 4630 to the 4640 would be the engine. 4630s were equipped with the turbo 404 engine, which were good engines and had a good reputation, but I believe the reason they replaced it with the 466 in the 4640s was to give more low end torque. Along with this, John Deere would upgrade the three point lift capacities as well as extend the wheelbase on all the 40 series tractors. This was done to distribute the weight better when lifting heavy objects. All in all, the 4640 was a good choice for farmers that wanted to pull bigger implements. To this day, these machines can still be spotted working hard in fields across the US every spring and fall. So I'm curious if you've ever ran a 4640 and what you thought of it or what your favorite 40 series tractor is. Let me know down in the comments Comments. Also, if you can consider subscribing to the channel, it really makes videos like this possible. But with that out of the way, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Mm -hmm.